located in the airward sector in the Mary system, being the fourth planet of six, known as the Red Basket of Elward Sector, is the planet Merisi. Merisi is a tempered planet with a mild consistent climate and plenty of fertile land, being guarded from above by its two moons, Tola and Meriso. The planet is home to a human or alien species with two distinct races, the Teltiers and the Meris. For millennia, both races remained ignorant of each other. The world's two major continents were separated by a vast ocean that was constantly disturbed by devastating storms. The storms were so fierce that even the coasts of the continents were dangerous to live on, where floods could reach more than 100 kilometers inland, and most of Merisi's land is plains just above sea level. This prevented long-range exploration, so, while the two races both developed technology, sea travel was virtually unknown. This changed thousands of years ago. Inexplicably, violent volcanic eruptions and seismic shifts wrenched the planet. Weather patterns shifted and temperature changed just enough to change the air streams. The oceans calmed and a land bridge connecting both continents emerged. This period is referred to as the Joining, and preceded a period of bloody warfare that will hang like a shadow over Merisi for a thousand years. First contact between the Telters and the Marys was violent. The two races had completely conflicting philosophies and attitudes, and struggle seems inevitable for neither side considered compromise possible. The Marys are humanoids with dark blue skin, a pronounced eyebrow ridge and a conical ridge on the top of the head. The webbed hands have both an opposable thumb and end finger, giving them greater dexterity. Marys move with a fluid grace and have amazing coordination. Also, they are friendly people, but don't blindly trust those who haven't proven themselves worthy. Like most other species, Marys have a wide range of personality and behaviors. Some are extremely peaceful, while others are quick to anger and fight. The Marys are hard-working people, many of whom spend time quiet contemplation. The Teltiors are a tall humanoid with pale blue to dark blue or black skin. They have a prominent vestigial tail and three-fingered hands. The fingers have highly flexible joints, giving the Teltiers much greater manual dexterity than many other species. They traditionally wear their hair in long ponytails down the back, although many females shape their heads for convenience. The first two or three centuries saw sporadic warfare and abortive colonization attempts on the other races continent. Eventually, the conflict escalated into full-scale warfare. Over the next seven centuries, villains died, as the rich farmlands were devastated by radiation and biological weapons. However, due to the need to survive, the Marys and Teltiers developed very advanced medical techniques. As the world faced final devastation, and with both populations on the brink of extinction, the races made peace. Reluctantly, they put aside their differences and began working on restoring their world. Fortunately, the world slowly rebounded from centuries of abuse. As new generations were born and raised in a tradition of cooperation, hate became distrust, and then rivalry, and then in time, friendship. While the world was still reeling from the effects of a thousand years of war, and the populations were still small, there was hope. The Republic discovered the planet and in quick time, Merisi joined. At first, the Republic lent assistance with countless Deacon droids who sped up the repair of Merisi's fragile ecosphere. In a few centuries, Merisi had gone from being a war dependent upon the Republic to one that was providing food, medicine, and other valuable goods to other member worlds. 
the warlike factions of Marys and Teltiers, unable to tolerate the idea of peace, retreated into the mountains. Ironically, both groups' hatred of each other drove them together. These two violent factions realized that the days as warlords were past. However, there were many worlds out in the galaxy who will pay handsomely for those who savored killing. Both groups united into a single group called the Log, a mixture of the Merry and Teltier wards for warrior. They perfected the arts of combat and assassination and became a secret cult of hired killers. As the sect grew, however, the Log became overconfident. They wanted the population of Merisi to vent to their will. The Log began an escalating campaign of terror and sabotage. They instigated incidents between the two races. The general populace learned to fear the name Log. However, the sect didn't count on the intervention of the Jedi. A half dozen Jedi Knights, aware of the pattern of hired killings coming from the Merisi area, resolved to end the terror. A year later, the Log was scattered and broken, the cult's power stripped away. It was presumed that the Log was destroyed, but that wasn't so. Many Log assassins faked their deaths and sat seclusion and secrecy. A grateful population venerated the Jedi Knights, who lost three of their number in the campaign. The remaining three left Merisi. Quietly, the Log was revealed. This time, the assassins selected only those who will be bound by the rigid tradition of confidentiality. The organization flourished again, but this time with a greater veil of secrecy.